This is a, a really important effort, I think, to get information out to the people of Louisiana about the uh, upcoming effects of health care reform and how it's going to affect their ability uh, to access private health insurance for the first time for many of them. As a doctor, uh, why is this uh, so important? Well, you know, I think part and parcel of, of kind of a of a sense of well-being is, is access to health care when you really need it. And health care is all about not just uh, prevention of illness and, and treatment of illness. Uh, it's about really uh, access to good information, access to important information, and a trusted advisor from a physician. And really without health insurance, uh, that is out of reach for too many of us. And we as a state are quite ill, uh, and we need more of our members to be able to access the health care system. I think this is the most sweeping uh, changes to health care in the United States in, in the last 50 years, probably since the uh, in, introduction of Medicare. And, and if you think about uh, it, uh, there's not any stakeholder in health care who's not going to be impacted by this. So this is really unprecedented time. What's going to be the work of the coalition? This is an educational effort. So the work is really to disseminate down to the level of individual Louisianians uh, accurate and unbiased information about how this health care law will impact them and their families specifically. This is an exciting day um, uh, for the coalition, and we're here really to officially launch the, the, the formation of the Louisiana Healthcare Education Coalition. And I don't think anybody in this room doesn't know uh, that major changes are afoot in the United States. Um, with the legislation passed a couple of years ago, uh, health care and the health care landscape will be changed forever in this country. Uh, and, and with that, the people of Louisiana have um, a, a tremendous opportunity to take advantage uh, of greater access to, to health care. Um, you know, on, on the exchange, um, with access to, prim uh, to uh, health insurance now, uh, the people of Louisiana will be able to go online uh, and compare health plans and compare um, uh, you know, private health insurance, many for the first time. They'll be able to learn about their options. They'll be able to select uh, health plans that meet their needs and the needs of their family. And that coverage will kick in in January of 2014. And for about 75% of the people of Louisiana, they may find that they're eligible for government subsidies to help fund uh, the cost of, of private health insurance. So with this opportunity, of course, comes great challenges. And the challenge that really has, has brought this coalition into being is the confusion that is going to be created uh, when you try to take 18 percent of the economy in the United States and re-engineer it in a short period of time. And there's some 20,000 pages of regulations uh, to really explain how this law is going to unfold. And if you look at what the Kaiser Family Foundation says, about 57 percent of the people in the United States today feel like they don't have enough information to know how this health care change is going to affect them or their families. And if you look at the uninsured population, it's about 67 percent of people really um, question how this is going to affect them. Um, so really, this is about bringing unbiased information to bear uh, to really all the stakeholders. And it's really more than just consumers, it's brokers, it's providers, it's owners of small business and large business, it's the general public. And really, information uh, is power. And, and the Healthcare uh, Education Coalition uh, seeks to bring that information to the people of Louisiana. So Blue Cross clearly is, in, is involved, and we, we founded the coalition, but really the coalition only becomes effective if we have partners. Uh, and so we are very excited that some of our partners uh, are here today, and we'll, we'll, we'll bring them up here in just a minute um, uh, to speak with you. Again, this is a civic organization. Um, we really do want to bring unbiased education to the people of Louisiana about the major drivers of health care costs, uh, the critical importance of personal wellness and taking responsibility for your own health care, and the need for access to quality health care. As a physician who treated patients directly for 15 years, um, it is disheartening to know that there are uh, medications, their treatments, there's advice that the people of Louisiana at times need and can't get because they've had limited access to health care. So to date we have about 30 organizations who've joined the coalition. We hope that'll double, triple, uh, and, and who knows how many we'll have, but we're going to need every one of you as partners uh, to be successful in our mission. So I want to take the time to introduce a couple of our uh, coalition partners, have them come up and make a couple of comments. I'll close, and if there's any Q&A at the end, we can do that. So first, I'd like to welcome Rennell Nolan, who's the president and CEO of Health Agents for America. Rennell? Good morning. Hoff is very excited um, to join Louisiana Healthcare Education Coalition.
Currently, Louisiana has 10,000 licensed agents, and Hoffa members are the boots on the ground educators for the citizens of Louisiana. Hoffa intends to provide an ongoing, unbiased look at the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act and help our clients navigate this complicated path called health care reform. Hoffa Health Agents for America is a nonprofit um, association that provides education and advocacy to agents and their clients. We have spent the past four years working in Washington and Louisiana, making sure we're at the table and that we're armed with the facts. POPACA is the law, federally funded exchanges coming to Louisiana. The citizens of Louisiana need our help, and this coalition is our first step. Thank you. Uh, it is a, indeed a pleasure to uh, bring you greetings from the Louisiana State University Health Sciences Center in New Orleans. And uh, yesterday we had a, hosted a similar event uh, that was well received in New Orleans, and I'm sure it's going to be as uh, received as well here in Baton Rouge. Uh, the Louisiana State University Health Sciences Center is uniquely situated to help in this initiative. We think it's very crucial and very important to educate our citizenry about the new changes and, and hopefully the benefits of these changes. Uh, I have personal uh, relations with this in terms of my uh, cousin. I spent about almost 12 hours last week with him navigating uh, the, uh, the interim hospital. He became unemployed. Uh, lost his insurance, and uh, we, we spent a great deal of time trying to navigate admissions and, and the whole bit. And once we got admitted, then things went fairly smoothly. But uh, this is personal to me, and I'm cert certain it's personal to a number of you here. Uh, Louisiana State University Health Sciences Center uh, trains a number, nearly 75 percent, of all the healthcare practitioners uh, that, that practice here in the state. And so we're very intimately connected not only to the information dissemination, but also those practitioners that will be participating in a new delivery of health care. And so again, we're proud and glad to be a part of LHEC, and uh, we, we look forward to uh, furthering the, the information and, and making sure that all of our citizens know what their health care uh, benefits and advantages will be. Thank you. So thanks, Derek. I think that's just a flavor of the types of partners that we hope to attract. I think we can be very uh, very successful uh, in, in our mission. And again, I'll, I'll just close by saying this is going to be an, an educational coalition. That's what this is about. If you, if you can imagine what this summer is going to look like, right? So uh, as it's configured today, October 1st, patients are going to be able to start accessing insurance or at least signing up for insurance on an Expedia-like website in many cases. Um, you can imagine the amount of government uh, educational efforts that are going to be par uh, be taking place this summer. So advertising on TV, uh, you'll have payers advertising. A lot of information is going to be pushed out into the community. It's going to be incredibly difficult for the average person who hasn't really had to pay attention to this to figure out a way forward. And that's really what this coalition is about. So again, uh, thank all of you who've come today. Uh, please help us spread the word. For those of you who are interested in joining the coalition, uh, we've got folks here. Uh, from the coalition who'd be happy to sign you up. Uh, all are welcome. Uh, our website is lhec.net. Uh, for, for more information, you can go there. And I, I'll be happy to answer uh, a few questions. And, and if any of our, our guests will be willing to take some questions, uh, we can do that for a few minutes. So thanks again. Uh, we appreciate you. These are a variety of stakeholders. Some are uh, faith-based organizations. Some are uh, traditional health care players. Um, we hope that we'll have hundreds of coalition members over the next several weeks. Uh, anyone who's interested in helping in this effort, whether they're a layperson or whether they belong to an organization involved in health care, is certainly welcome to join the coalition. What's the time factor involved? Well, the action is heating up. Uh, we know October 1st is when the health care exchanges are set to go on uh, online. And so really the, uh, the effort is from now right up to and through October 1st. Uh, a lot of information needs to get out there in the next several months. Health Agents of America, we're called HAFA, nonprofit um, association of agents that um, are very excited about the coalition because we're going to be able to work and educate the citizens of Louisiana, things that we enjoy doing every day. Um, we have the facts about the health care reform and we're ready to bring them to the citizens. What's your reaction to the formulation of the coalition? I think it's a good idea. I think that um, more and more citizens are going to need to know what to do. They're scared right now. They're unsure of what decisions they need to make. They need to make some decisions based on the facts and not what they might hear. Um, it's not true. 
I think the coalition is an essential element to getting the information to the citizens of Louisiana. We have a, a tremendous need to try and educate folks about the changes in health care. I think the, these changes are a little bit uh, daunting if you start to look inside the changes, uh, but yet they have individual impact and we want to make sure that everyone understands uh, their options and, and the benefits really of these changes. Your reaction to everything that you've heard and seen here today? I think, it's, I think it's been good. I think we've got a number of people who are very excited about what LHEC is going to be doing. I think we've got people who are concerned about getting the information out. Um, working in the healthcare industry, I think it's important for us health, as, as healthcare providers to try and get this information to those who will need it most. How is the healthcare reform going to change uh, healthcare for people uh, throughout uh, Louisiana? Okay, so I think uh, certainly health care providers need to be aware of how this, uh, this bill is likely to affect the number of people who are seeking, seeking access to care so that they can start to adjust the delivery model to, to, uh, to take care of the needs of, of a growing number of people. I think our brokers and people who sell insurance and who represent health payers need to understand these laws. I think small and large business owners need to understand this. And then Joe Citizen, average citizens need to really understand this. This really does affect everybody. What's your reaction to how the coalition has grown so far? I mean, this is incredibly gratifying for a, for a new effort to have so much interest and so much excitement and so many partners willing to, uh, to join uh, with Blue Cross at this point. Uh, this has been great. It's been gratifying.